As a practicing physician, I'm still practicing a little bit, I see this as potential for just a complete disaster in the state of Vermont. Um, and to a certain extent, uh, for any church we can, you expect to get in Dartmouth, because as far as I can tell, they're ready to sort of slice, down, slice Dartmouth out of the picture. So don't expect to be going over to, to uh, you know, Hanover 11 uh, for church repair if this comes into, into full force. So the problem here is, is that as we go forward, uh, you know, there are only 52 general surgeons in the state of Vermont. That includes people that are retired. There are only 76 orthopedists. Again, people like myself, perhaps only working part-time. Only 24 urologists, and I know of at least three urologists in the Berlin area who were retired among, amongst those 20. So if you decide that you then the natural inflammation is, okay, well, we've covered all these people, and we have kind of Santa Claus in Montpelier, and we've told all these people what they can get, and how isn't it great that we're covering all of this for you, and the expenses then go up as naturally they will. The only other way to decrease expenses is to cut down what you're paying the hospitals and the providers. So out of the box, that's already been attempted. I mean, radiologists that we were just told were going to be reimbursed at Medicaid rates. Medicaid rates will not support physicians or hospitals in the state of Vermont. Hospitals will be definitely in the red, and physicians will leave the state. You cannot run a medical practice and get Medicaid reimbursement. So in the 25 years that I was at Gifford, every single time we had an opportunity to hire a new person, it was never easy. We would sort of beg the person to come and practice in small town Vermont. So this idea that Vermont is utopia, nirvana, everyone will want to come and practice here, has always been wrong. Okay. To have the rose-colored idea that the state of Vermont is somehow or other going to solve the issue for the world, let alone the nation, it is just ludicrous. Now, when you look at these Hazio savings, you, you can just forget any savings with a program where you hire, uh, I mean, where you, where you cover more people. When people get insurance coverage, they really are going to go and get their hernia fixed, or maybe their bunions fixed, or maybe some other things fixed that they haven't gotten fixed in the past because they didn't have good insurance coverage. So any thoughts that we're going to save money by covering more people and more disease is just ludicrous. Rose-colored glasses again in the legislature. People just not understanding human nature and really the demands of medicine. So obviously I have a stake in things, but not as big a stake. I don't have as big a dog as I once had in, in this fight. But I did practice in the state of Vermont, saw anyone that came to my office, whether they could pay or couldn't pay, for 25 years. And my thought is, is the system can't be that bad. And we certainly have an opportunity to completely ruin the system.